Now, when you think about a holiday, you think about family and friends, and what binds all of that together, of course, is great food. And we are so lucky because Lydia Chang's here with her father, a celebrated uh, chef here in the Washington, D.C. area, Peter Chang. In fact, so celebrated. I mean, he's cooked for Hu Jintao, uh, he has. the Chinese embassy. Talk to us a little bit about his career because it's amazing, isn't it? Well, when we first came to D.C., we were hired by the embassy, so he has been, he had cooked at the embassy, uh, ambassador's residence, and, you know, cooking for state dinners, etc. Uh, talk about pressure. So we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're easy stuff here. So, Lydia, kind of walk us through, what are, what are we looking at here today? What's he going to make for us? Uh, we're going to make two things. Normally, Chinese New Year is celebrated in a banquet style, meaning we have a variety of just delicious dishes varying from frying or stew or hot pots. It's going to be a fest. Um, so today we're going to make two things. Uh, one is a classic recipe from our hometown, Hubei. So what we have here is a grandmother's fish ball. We made it in-house, homemade from scratch, and also the fish cake. Uh, it's known in the Jingzhou region. Mm. We are going to start by making some dumplings. And dumplings, of course, a big part of this yes. holiday, right? Uh, dumpling, we have to have that for any big family reunion, um, the very quite important celebrations. Yeah, and you, so you're from Hubei, right? Yes. Uh, how, how's it different here in the United States? I mean, you, the restaurant must be swamped this time of year, I would think, for the people who are just craving that kind of food, right? Right, and also, since you're celebrating abroad, you don't have a big enough family to do the whole festival at home. The best way to celebrate among friends is going to a restaurant and enjoy what they couldn't get. Um, since those, they're so far away. <laughs> you can tell how meticulous he is here with the cutting, and this is part of the process, and then what will happen next? Uh, so we're just cutting, we just cut the fish cakes. We want to make it in uh, the appropriate size. Um, easy for us to eat with one bite. So it goes into the stew here, right? Uh, so that it soaks up some right. stock, make sure that it's um, juicy, moisture. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's uh, funny about uh, uh, Americans is uh, they think of Chinese food uh, quite differently than people from China. And you really understand when you go to China and you see all the different cuisines. I mean, you can go to Hangzhou and you get one type of food. You were talking about hot pot, dumplings. Um, it's really unique and it's vibrant and it's in a lot of different areas of the country. You have different styles of food. Talk to us about that. Yes, when it comes to talking about Chinese cuisine, you know, we had it in our DNA for the past 5,000 years. So when you talk about anything for that's been there for 5,000 years, it's a lot of history, a lot of culture, and a lot of knowledge. Um, here in the U.S., we like to describe Chinese as what's accessible. So what's being served at the corner restaurants, the mom and the pops, and what's in the neighborhood. Um, I would say the Chinese food in the U.S. is more considered as a comfort food. It's whenever they're so tired, they want to get something easily accessible. Yeah, the fried rice, the lo mein, they are legitimate. And this is a rather quick uh, a dish to make, isn't it? We made it especially quick for, for the us. purpose of, It's a yes. trick, right? <laughs> <laughs> not as quick as, it, he's making it look quick. It's not necessarily all that quick. Well, if we were to make everything from scratch, you know, including mm -hmm. the fish balls and the fish cakes, that would take at least 10 hours. Wow, so it's a day-long affair, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, but that's part of the fun as well, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's another interesting fact. So what do people do on, well, Lona New Year's Eve is um, the main cook at the household will start prepping at 8 a.m. just for that one dinner. So in, uh, if we were compared to any U.S. holidays, it was like Thanksgiving. So now the uh, scallion's going yes. on. Strategically placed, right? <laughs> To add the colors and also red, it's such a uh, festive color. You see the lanterns. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's looking great. Okay, so what we have here is the Jingzhou 
style fish cake with fish balls uh, with a very light, clear broth, but has a lot of flavors. Um, and next to that, um, you would also see um, the banquet family style is a plate full of dumplings. Excellent, fantastic. Can I taste? Of course. All right, there you go. There's no graceful way to do this, is there? <laughs> <laughs> and I get to do it on camera. Uh, let me try it's this. It's hot. Mm. That is incredible. Oh my God. That is yeah. so good. Yeah. Mm. Yummy. You have to try the dumplings. Can I serve yes, you some dumplings? Yes, of course. Yes, I'd love one of those too. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. So my dad said we normally wouldn't have sauce with the dumplings, but we understand the American palate. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anything so. is better with the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try it with the sauce. Mm. Oh, we love to eat anything that's in the shape of a bowl. Um, it means wholesome, being wholesome, and also uh, being reunited. Uh, that's all the spirit of the Lunar New Year. Well, wholesome and delicious. Yes. Uh, Peter, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Lydia, Thank you for having incredible. Us. Really appreciate it. And we'll be back after a short break. Yeah, Shinya Kala, Shinya Kala.